Using details from the text and illustrations, what are some ways Jack was clever in the story? In this lesson, you will learn to understand a character's actions by finding information in the illustrations and words in the text. We have been reading Jack and the Beanstalk, which is a fairy tale. Fairy tales were written long ago and have been retold and rewritten for many years. This version of Jack and the Beanstalk was collected by Joseph Jacobs, which means he took this version and wrote it into a book. It was not originally written by him. This story is about a boy named Jack who tries to help his mother by climbing up a beanstalk. Climbing the beanstalk puts Jack into some challenging situations. Let's review what we already know. We have learned that we can use illustrations and text to describe characters. When I read this text, once there was a clever little girl who slept in her clothes so she wouldn't be late for school. She was going to start her first day in the second grade. I noticed several things. The girl is described as clever, which means to be good at doing something. She was clever because she slept in her clothes. She was good at getting ready quickly in the morning so she wouldn't be late for school. I also noticed that she is in the second grade. In the illustration, she is smiling, so she must be happy about going to school. She is wearing a blue shirt with orange flowers and an orange skirt with blue flowers. Using all of these details, I could describe this girl as a happy, clever girl on her way to second grade in a blue shirt and orange skirt. Today we are going to focus on the details in the text and illustrations that tell us about Jack. We will be using three steps. Number one, reread the text looking for words and illustrations that describe the character's actions. Number two, ask, how do these actions help me understand the character? Number three, use what you know to explain how it shows what you understand about the character. Let's take a moment to remember the focus question. Using details from the text and illustrations, what are some ways Jack was clever in the story? To answer this question, I will need to look back in the text for key details in the words and illustrations specifically about Jack being clever. As I look back, I see the part in the text where Jack is thinking about trading the cow for the beans. The first step to answer the focus question is to reread the text looking for words and illustrations that describe the character's actions. On this page, I need to focus on the details that tell me about Jack. I first notice in the text that Jack wonders how the man knew his name. I think to myself, what makes Jack wonder how the man knew his name? As I look at the illustration, I notice that Jack is looking carefully into the man's bag at the beans. I wonder why Jack is looking so carefully. Now I'm going to keep rereading and continue looking for details about Jack in another part of the text. Again, I will reread the text looking for words that describe Jack. On this page, I notice that Jack waits behind a bush and then creeps into the house. That is an interesting detail about Jack. I wonder why he is waiting and hiding. The next step is, ask yourself, how do these actions help me understand the character? I need to think about the three details I noticed in the text and illustrations. First, I read that Jack wondered how the man knew his name. This tells me that Jack realizes the man is a stranger to him and should not know his name. In the illustration, I noticed how carefully Jack was looking into the bag. This tells me that Jack is thinking about what the man is offering and doesn't make the trade right away. On the next page, I found that Jack hides in the bush and then creeps into the house. This tells me that Jack knows to stay hidden from the giant and his wife. The last step is to use what you know to explain how it shows what you understand about the character. I'm going to organize my thoughts into the T-chart. I notice that the T-chart has two sides, Jack's actions and how is this clever. I'll add the first detail on the left. Wonders how the man knew his name. Then I need to think. How can I explain how that shows Jack is clever? Jack realized that the man was a stranger and he shouldn't have known his name. Then I'll add the detail that I found in the illustration where Jack's 
looks carefully into the bag. This shows that Jack is clever enough to take his time and think carefully about the man's offer before trading. Last, I will add the detail where Jack hides in the bushes and then creeps into the house. This is clever because Jack knows to stay hidden from the giant and his wife this time. Now I will go back and reread the focus question and make sure that I have answered it correctly. Using details from the text and illustrations, what are some ways Jack was clever in the story? I need to look at the first detail and explanation. Jack wondered how the man knew his name, which shows that Jack is smart enough to realize that since the man is a stranger, he shouldn't know his name. This detail and explanation does answer the question and shows how Jack was clever. The next detail I wrote is that Jack looked carefully into the man's bag, which shows that he is clever enough to think carefully about the man's offer before trading. The last detail I wrote is when Jack hides in the bushes and then creeps into the house, which shows he is clever because he knows to hide from the giant and his wife. All the details and explanations answer the focus question correctly. We answered the focus question using the following three steps. Number one, reread the text looking for words and illustrations that describe the character's actions. Number two, ask, how do these actions help me understand the character? And number three, use what you know to explain how it shows what you understand about the character. In this lesson, you have learned how to demonstrate an understanding of a character by finding information in the text and illustrations.